Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will continue with AWS Data Lake. Data Lake is increasingly becoming a popular way to store and analyze data that is coming from various sources. Data can be stored as is. There is no need to convert it to a predefined schema. To discover the structure and form of the data, we can use the AWS Glue service. AWS Glue significantly reduces the time and effort needed to drive insights from the data stored in S3 Data Lake. AWS Glue automatically crawls our S3 data and identifies the data format and then suggests the schema for it. We can then query and analyze the data using other AWS analytics services such as Athena. AWS Glue is essential component of S3 Data Lake providing the data catalog and transformation services for modern data analytics platform. In the previous video, we uploaded our on-premise data into S3 bucket in CSV format. Today, we will define a database, configure a crawler to explore the data in S3 bucket, create tables from the CSV data, and query the data using Amazon Athena. Let's log into our AWS account and search for AWS Glue service. Glue is located in the analytics section. To house our data, let's create a database and I'll call it AdventureWorks. And as we know, a database is a collection of tables. In the console, I'll click on the add database and give this database a name, AdventureWorks, and hit the create button. And we can select the tables in the navigation pane at the moment, we don't have any tables, but once our database is populated, we can look at the table definition, data type, and other metadata of the table here. We can add table manually to our database or by using a crawler. A crawler is a program that connects to a data store and using a classifier determines the schema of the data. AWS Glue provides classifier for common file types like CSV, JSON, Avro, and others. Let's use a crawler to add multiple tables in our database. To add a crawler, we click on add crawler and we enter the crawler's name. Let's give it a descriptive name that it belongs to AdventureWorks and click on next. On this screen, we choose the data stores and we will crawl all the folders in our data store, which is S3. Let's move on to the next page. Our data store is S3, so we can leave it as is and we can select the S3 bucket by clicking on the folder icon. So I'll go ahead and uh, click our BI Insight SQL Server source data bucket. This S3 bucket contains the data from the AdventureWorks database that we loaded in the previous video. Let's go on to the next set of options. We skip this page as we're only working with one source. Here we will create a new IAM role. Let's give this role a name and hit next. On this page, we have the schedule options. We can trigger this crawler on demand or run it on schedule. You can select weekly, daily uh, schedule. For now, let's use the run on demand option. Here we will select the database we created earlier. We can specify a prefix for the tables if we want, but I'll leave it blank. Okay, we are done with the configuration. We can review all the settings we have employed throughout and if everything looks okay, then we click finish. Our crawler is ready and we can run it on demand. Let's select the crawler and run it now. This will queue and start the crawler. We can refresh the page to see the status of the crawler. It'll take few minutes to start and process the data. So I'll give it time to complete. And when the crawler finishes, our tables are added to AdventureWorks database. Okay, the crawler has finished. So I am going to go ahead and select the database from the left pane and click on the tables. This shows us the list of tables available in this database. So the crawler has successfully crawled through the S3 bucket and defined the schema for the S3 objects. We can select a table. This screen shows the table, including the schema, property, data types, and other information. Okay, next we will query this data in AWS Athena using SQL. So let's go ahead and launch AWS Athena. In Athena, the first thing we need to do is set query result location to a S3 bucket. Athena needs a location to store the query results. 
So we can go ahead and click on the setting and set the query output location. I will select the BI Insight Inc. Athena query result output bucket. We can go ahead and save this. Now we can query the database using Athena. Okay, so we have the AdventureWorks database selected and we see the tables in this database. Let's go ahead and query the products table to make sure it has data. The query runs successfully and we can see the products data under it. We have successfully created a data lake with our on-premise database. We can perform data analysis in AWS Athena using SQL against this data lake. In the next session, we will see how to invoke this crawler via Python script. So all of our code, including the ingestion and the data lake creation will happen with one script. So stay tuned. This is all for now. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.